Hi again. Uh, I'll start this update by showing you a couple clips. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna show you a clip first. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I probably talked about this in a previous video. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, I was crafting. You know, I was crafting the bow, hoping to get a uh, plus three with 30% more damage with attack skills. So that was two days ago. Yeah, that was on the day on the when I made the last, uh, like after the last update. Uh, so we need to use the forward and metallic for no physical, no elemental mod. So we rule out basically everything. My bow is low item level enough so i will never be able to hit that and then we use charlotte for the big ticket 20 percent more attack like uh, more attack damage right and show you so well we got this we got a bow with 20 percent more more damage uh plus two bow gems so, and it's a six more item. So, I can actually brute force the the plus one all skill gems on this bow by annulling it twice. So I need to annul this mod out, and then a random suffix. So the first annul, I mean, I I need to hit a like one in six chance. And then another like what three in five or something like that yeah yeah this happened it's not gonna it's not gonna happen but let's try let's go for it so i did hit the one in six chance so now it's missing a prefix and i could brute force the last prefix on it but oh my god i need to hit another prefix another annul now oh i need to no i need to do another Peace. So we are still using the plus two bow, as you saw. But this was very close. This was extremely close for me getting the uh, almost best slot bow for myself. The best slot bow would be uh, on top of using Terranet to use a face set, face set and get a plus one dexterity gem on a shaper bow base because shaper bow has a <sighs> where are you you're somewhere here do double damage oh wait i think the uh not the boards take it out but you could exalt the oh yeah there we go so Plus, plus one all, plus two bow, 20% more on prefixes, dexterity, chance to do double damage. That'd be the D bow, but I'm never gonna even try to get, do that in, in a softcore league. Okay, and then the, the other clip, well you already see it's pretty pokers. But you know how I was talking about the Pathfinder and, and wanting to play the Pathfinder?
Yep. So that happened. So now I have a taste of hate. So with these three, that's like what 48. I mean up to 48 if I might divide this. And then with flask effect, this is gonna be uh it's gonna be over 30% physical damage from hits taken as cold damage. If I use a jewel and get a belt of getting 50% effect, uh alone is gonna make it like 30, which is gonna be like 78%. That is insane damage mitigation for physical damage. And then I can get to like 93. Well, up to 95 without uh, without the uh, divination distillate. I really need to figure out how to properly sustain the divin divination distillate. But yeah, other than that, uh, I got my second Nebulus yesterday. When trying to get... Uh, I'm still farming for the yoke. Uh, I guess I should quickly show it for people who don't know what it is. Uh, but it's a unique amulet from... The Lightning Guardian that allows elemental damage to shock, so my cold damage can shock. So that's pretty massive uh, boost to my damage. So I'm still still uh, trying to farm that. So I'm just I recently just killed a red elder. I wonder how many elders I've done so far. So that's like what 11 elders so far yeah and two of them have been yellow elders i think every every other has been red if i remember correctly but yeah so that's still a thing i'm trying to do but this guy literally with zero mf no quantity no rarity has found like more good stuff than the, the necro did ever with like 80 quad and crazy amount of rarity uh, also found Soul Rest. I don't know if I'm... I re I'm really keen to do something with it at some point, but... Probably not. There's other builds I want to try. Or play. For example, I kind of want to play something with Nebulosh. I don't know yet what. Uh, and then the Pathfinder, obviously. Oh, and speaking of the Pathfinder and crafting... Uh, I made... This. You see, it's two prefix, two suffix. The faster attacks... Uh, support is actually really nice because uh once credit path needs attacks per second so the weapon the base weapon attack speed uh or the attacks so having a high base this is like the fastest base it's actually faster than a behemoth base because of the base attacks per second is so much higher on the on this so I got the minion damage roll, I got the explodes, and as you can see it's an uh, open suffix, so that when the Katarina hits 8, I can do cannot roll attack mods, and then there's two different prefixes I can hit with an exalt. There's plus one all skill gems, and then there's two different tiers of uh, gain physical as extra fire. And that's most likely gonna be the clear weapon for the Pathfinder. I need to craft the proper single target, single target weapon, which I think I'm gonna try my luck with some uh, some uh, shaper mace. I think I have a level 80 now. Yeah, over 80 level, like level item level 80. So you get the highest, like the T1 gain as. I think there's like a couple more still that I'm missing, and not, not having the highest. I think there's like item level 82 or uh, 3 or 4 I need, but it doesn't really matter. Like 80 is like the the choke point for the T1 gain, uh, gain physical as uh, extra elemental. But yeah, the plus one all gem levels is extremely rare in comparison to the gain as. So we'll see probably in the next next update video will have a clip of me uh, exalting this i think you wish to because i'm this is only like what 70000 xp left i have a daily mission to be done 
I can brute force a Katarina to spawn on a T15 or T16, slap it with a crazy master, and it's like 50,000 XP already. That's all. That's gonna be you have gonna be level question. eight before the next update video. Um, anything else I needed to talk about? Oh yeah, strong shaper strongholds are pretty damn good. Got the uh, the gull. This is this is a really underrated helm in my opinion. You get like you can spawn uh, shrines when you kill enemies and. Some of the shrines are actually really strong. The only downside is that they are like smaller shrines. And you actually have to like be really like have a precision to click them. But this is actually potentially really crazy for. Uh, I wouldn't say crazy for del like delving the, the hardest content, but you can get like ES shrine. There's, if I remember correct, there's also acceleration shrine here. But it is it is a really nice helm. And with the amount of monsters spawning in Delve, you can probably stack on some uh, decent amount of shrines. Uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to need a map. Oh, so, so I don't remember I didn't think I had Wiz Mortis on the last update yet. I think that I found it like the same day as I released the update. But yeah. And I sunk in 1100 fusings on it yet. Could say that's unlucky, but it's not really. It's not even on the the average yet. I think the average is like 1200 or something like that. Also, the fact that I six linked a chinsol and a lightning coil in like 900 or something. So I think I'm 2k fusings for two six links. I think I'm I'm still I'm still good. Uh, closing in in 1k chaos orbs. Uh, I'm actually having an is issue right now where I'm I'm generating regal orbs because most of the item item level items here are like way past like seven like uh, seventy four, which is the last level you can get for cave treasure right? But flatly the recipe only needs one item of that item level. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep picking up normal stuff, you know, and then when. This step, this step, this, 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 and this step get full. I'll just go run some low level maps and pick up like every single body armor, and that's a very easy way to get the low level low level item piece for the chaos recipe. Because I really want to keep doing it. I mean I would actually be like easily over 1000 case already, but I've been doing this uh, this a lot. I'm running T10 maps as a T15. When I'm uh, like respawning Elder. So, like running uh, more charts and whatnot as T15. It's been really nice. Both from Absa State, as you can see, I have like 26 T15s. I have like 11 uh, Guardian maps. It's been really nice. Also gives me a decent amount of uh, Sulfite. Oh, and speaking of that, I'm now. Starting to progress with this character too, even though I'm still only using a plus two uh, with a level 10 gem. Once the play vortex here hits level 20, which should be today, I think I'll start playing the Pathfinder. The good thing about the Pathfinder is that I can actually level up gems on my weapon as well. I can't really do that with this character, I mean I could, but then I would have to carry this Either on my inventory or something like that for being the target, and uh, I don't really want to do that. I'm too lazy to do that. Weapon shop in T tier. But yeah, I don't really have room to level things. I really need to remember to take a wall call snap here, though, for bosses. Actually, do that so I remember to do that. Because you can get frenzy charges in boss fights with that. Hopefully, I remember. Actually, do I have it here? Actually, have a gold snap. Cool. So now we have the Castle Damage Taken Gold Snap, and then you can just, you know, self cast the Valk Gold Snap for bosses. Pretty nice. Huh, what else? I don't think. I think that's. That's pretty much it. 
this. Hopefully this is gonna be six link so I can have four specters on the Necromancer, it's gonna be destroy it's gonna be destroying bosses and everything. It, when this four the six links, I think I'm gonna go kill Shaper at that point. Or if the Blade Vortex guy just gets the hot decent level and the gear is good and like should just completely destroy everything there, I think. It should be so tanky. Yeah. Until next time.